Well, robots in the operating room on the First Coast sounds kind of like sci-fi, but it's happening in our area now. And today, middle and high school students were actually in the driver's seat. Juliette Dreyer has a story. Here's the thing about surgery. When you're the patient, you don't remember what actually happens inside of the operating room. But today, we got a first-hand look at what it's like to be the one manning the controls. <laughs> <laughs> it's a glimpse into a world we rarely get to see. Just squeeze it and pick it up. The union of technology and medicine. All right, you're up. All right. And Tuesday, middle and high school students took the reins. Now bring it down and just put it on this yellow one. We got to pinch the rubber bands and move them to a different spike. Once you put your head in, open and close your hands a couple times. Allison Mock is a sophomore at Creekside High School. She's among the students from several local schools to try out the Da Vinci surgical robot at St. Vincent's Southside. I think it's amazing we could actually see what the world life is instead of just in the classroom. Now pass it over to your right hand over here. The robots are used for a variety of surgeries from prostate and colon to heart and kidney. They can work out of an incision just a centimeter long. What we're doing with our fingers, uh, the instruments uh, do the same thing inside the body. Dr. Manpreet Graywall is the chief of general surgery and colorectal surgery at St. Vincent's. He performs two to three robotic surgeries each week. This rubber band off of this spike. The robots allow surgeons to maneuver into difficult angles and see with a clarity not previously available. That means more precision during surgery leading to less pain and faster recovery for patients. With the robot, you see these nerves much better, so you're able to stay away from them more, uh, which then translates to a benefit there. For the students interested in becoming doctors, it's a window into the future. It made me want to do it so much more, you know, um, just to see the technology just moving on so fast. It's just, and I just want to change the world even more. The future not only of their careers. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. But of technology. If it's already here right now and I'm in sophomore, just, just some Imagine in like 10 and 12 years, I just, I can't even believe it. On the South Side, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side. So if you're wondering why those robots are called Da Vinci, according to the company's website, the name pays tribute to Leonardo Da Vinci. Da Vinci was known for, among other things, advancing the study of human anatomy. The company says Da Vinci is credited with designing the first known robot called Leonardo's Robot, likely made back in 1495.